In this video, I am going to install this EcoFlow alternator charger, give you some background on this product, how innovative it is, and I'm going to share with you two valuable lessons that I learned doing this process. I'm going to tell you about its limitations and maybe some workarounds to see whether this product will fit your needs. What's up everybody? I'm not sure if you heard of this product. EcoFlow, the really innovative company in when it comes to power stations, has come up with a box that charges your power stations. Because there is a problem. The problem is when your power station runs out of juice and you're away from the grid, how are you going to put it back up? If you use your solar panels, they're very expensive and they're very slow a lot of shade you got to reposition them you'll be lucky to get a couple hundred watts out of it if you use your car cigarette adapter you're gonna get a hundred watts a hundred watts take you like 24 hours to charge the big power stations and so what this thing is doing is it's gonna use the power of your alternator which you already have in your car as long as your engines running and it's gonna charge your power station at a rate of 800 watts 800 watts is amazing so most grid chargers don't even go that fast so really cool and what i'm going to do i'm going to install it i'm going to show you the process and i'm going to show you tell you about the limitations and as well as a couple tricks that i learned along the way okay the biggest thing that you got to know about it first of all is this thing charges a an e we're using the ecoflow adapter right here you know it's a special plug that you probably don't have unless you have an EcoFlow Delta or one of those EcoFlow uh, air conditioner heater units uh, that they have and I have both that I'll show you uh, but if you need the special wire they're gonna come up with the XT60 XT90 plug that will be more universal for other power stations on with the install so the install i'm going to show you a layout not a lot of parts to it basically you have a box you have a mounting bracket for this guy and then you have a long wire uh, and then you have a plug that goes to your power station so you want this unit close to where your power station is going to be mounted or your air conditioner unit and to that end they give you a positive and negative wire right here that's super long it's 16 feet long it's as long as my truck <laughs> So it's a little crazy if you don't need it that long, but you can cut it because it's just a positive and negative wire, okay? So the extent of the installation really is just one wire, this wire right here. So it's positive and negative, it's in your engine bay. I put it right here, but I, I put it outside so I can show you guys, and this has to be routed inside your vehicle, positive and negative, and then you plug it in here with these special uh, adapters. You can't go wrong, you know, the car, uh, there's really only two plugs one goes to the car and one goes to the power station this thing is automotive grade so it's with, built to withstand the rigors of the road use off-road use and once you plug it in it's hard to come out uh, they have this special adapter or uh, kind of tool so you can take it out but i can't even take it out so it's not it's not easy uh, so two wires and then we're done okay so the first lesson i learned is i go okay Let's see, charge. It's plugged in, it's got power, but uh, it's not, nothing's going on. So the first lesson is there's an on-off switch. And the on-off switch, I think you have to press, you always have to press it on to charge your power station. This thing is at 67% right now. So I'm all like, okay, I wanna charge. The on-off switch is right here. This looks like a module, but it's really an on-off switch. So you, you press it, and then there's a light in the back. Look at that, green, red, green, red and it's not charging okay so that's not doing it so it turns out there's an app that you need to install so it's the same ecoflow app that you use for all your uh, power stations so right here and you have to detect this will automatically detect the alternator charger and the main thing that needs to happen is the motor has to be on the engine has to be on the alternator has to be running so this box knows when it's just a battery when you have power or when you have the alternator so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the engine and uh and go from there all right all right car is running the i'm going to record the screen so hopefully i can embed it so right there i pull up the app and this thing's not found because it's not turned on so you do have to turn it on every time so that's lesson number one okay as far as turning the machine off and on there's two ways one is if this is within reach you can press the button right here to make it start working once the car is running but you have an alternate way the alternate way is you use the app so let's say that thing is hidden uh, behind the firewall or something or uh, behind the seats then you use this app right here and you just flick the switch 
turn it on using this guy. Okay, now it's green. That means it is ready, it's on, it's ready for action. It senses the alternator and we, we look at it and right there, since it's wired up, it's automatically charging. So as you can see in the app, it's charging this and this thing woke up. If it's off, it's gonna uh, wake up and it says, hey, I'm getting juice 800 watts. 800 watts is so cool because this truck is like 20 years old, 19 years old and it's the alternator's original and it is pushing 800 watts i'm not sure if ac is on yeah the ac is on and uh, it has no problem powering it the idle is not increasing in the car so it's not running any more uh, than normal i guess if you have a, a, a tercel or something a really small car small alternator, it might struggle but basically if your alternator is not producing enough current you'll just charge less than 800 watts but 800 watts 13.8 volts pretty darn good okay so the other thing uh, I would like to caution you this is a brand new EcoFlow Delta is first it would not detect even though it's wired it would not detect the power station it needed a firmware update uh, you know it uh, I think they've updated firmware to recognize this new box this was introduced in 2024 so it, it was it took about five minutes updated it and EcoFlow does their updates well and there you go all right the next thing I wanted to show you is this is only a thousand watt hour unit and I go okay once it's done it's gonna be done in 35 minutes you know like I have a long drive uh, so you could be running the car or you could be driving a long way you know what do I do with that extra energy you know what you could do is you could while it's charging you can actually turn on the inverter and charge another unit so what I have down here is another power station uh, and, and I'm going to turn it on right now and now it's putting out 1400 watts. It's charging another power station. So you can daisy chain your power stations so you can keep using this as kind of the gateway to the alternator. So another cool revelations. So those are the two cool revelations that I have. Um, aside from the fact that this only works with EcoFlow units, the Deltas and, the, and higher. And then the other discovery is you can use, uh, using your Delta, these are very powerful machines, uh, up to 2400, 2700 watts. You can use it to charge uh, you know, a, a, a plethora of other power stations. So you can charge, you can have 5000 watt hours out of your EcoFlow alternator charger. So there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that installation. Obviously the wiring uh, is a little bit more involved but the actual install is just a positive and negative wire to your battery. All right, thanks a ton, everybody.